Hello friends, my name is DJ. In this video, I'm going to be comparing AP Computer Science with AP Computer Science Principles. These are both advanced placement courses created by the College Board and are offered in uh, countless of high schools across the country. And you may be wondering, if you have both of these as options, is that which one you should take and what are kind of some of the similarities and differences uh, between the two classes, given that they're both AP uh, classes and they're both related to computer science. So we're going to be going over first uh, the differences between the two um, in terms of the coursework, then the exam, and then we're also going to talk about uh, kind of what you should take and depending on your situation. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is going to be the course uh, or kind of the, the course material for um, AP Computer Science Principles. And so for AP Computer Science Principles, you have five units. The first one is Creative Development, then you have Data, algorithms and programming, computer system and network, and impact of computing. And these are kind of listed on their website as big idea points, uh, rather than, you know, unit one. They're kind of these big ideas from unit, uh, from big idea one to big idea five. And you can see on the side uh, of the, of the thing that I'm showing on the screen is that there are kind of percentages that, um, kind of the test, the multiple choice section goes off of. So like, for example, unit or big idea one, creative development, about 10 to 13% of the multiple choice section in terms of the test is actually going to be on those things. So that is for um, AP computer science principles. Now let's take a look at AP computer science. So AP computer science, and you notice that there are a lot more units. There are had double the amount of units. There are 10 units, uh, primitive types, using objects, Boolean expressions, if statement, iterations, writing classes, array, array list, 2D array, inheritance, and recursion. So these are kind of very program uh, programming heavy units in the sense that for AP computer science, all you're going to be doing is programming. And so I also want to show up on the screens another kind of thing that I think is going to be very, very helpful. And this is actually on the AP Computer Science Principles page of, but from the College Board. And it talks about kind of the curriculum focus between AP Computer Science A and AP Computer Science Principles. AP Computer Science Principles is more of the class that is, as they say, big ideas of computer science. Really what this means in a nutshell is if you know, um, you know, the, the name of the class is computer science principles. It's kind of the principle or the introduction to computer science. AP computer science principles should be taken, especially if you don't know anything really about computer science. It's that introductory class that kind of helps to explain everything and um, of basically how things work. So it's more of an introduction type of class. While as computer science A is very programming heavy, you're going to be learning how to program in the programming language of Java. For computer science principles, it kind of varies depending on your curriculum. If you do a standard code.org curriculum, which is using the code.org's um, AP computer science principles framework, you may be using something like JavaScript. However, you could even be in, in certain schools using Apple's AP Computer Science uh, Principles curriculum, which teaches Swift. So there's actually a very wide, a very wide variety, and teachers can d choose different programming languages depending on what they actually want to teach. And so it really depends on kind of your teacher in terms of the programming language, or also your district programming language that you're actually doing. While AP Computer Science A is completely in Java. All right, so again, as recap, in terms of the coursework, we kind of talked about how AP Computer Science Principles really teaches kind of the big ideas or kind of these fundamental ideas for computer science. And Computer Science A is going to be more of the programming class. Like you're gonna be learning the programming language of Java in AP Computer Science A. While as Computer Science Principles teach you more of concepts, like general concepts for computer science, rather than teaching you a specific programming language. Also, the things that you'll be doing in AP Computer Science Principles is going to be more on the basic side compared to Computer Science A. Computer Science A goes much more in depth and is very, again, it's all about writing programs to solve problems, while Computer Science Principles is going to be a class more about kind of the ideas of computer science. So it's much more, um, it's much more kind of removed from the full-on programming, right? There's one main unit for AP Computer Science Principles, which is going to be programming heavy, while in Computer Science A, you're learning from units one to unit 10, right? All the way through, you're pretty much doing, you're spending your time in Java and learning the Java language. So that is kind of the difference. One is 
on the you know big ideas and other is going to be everything about uh, programming and full on you know using the computer science or you're using the Java programming language and you're also going to be learning some of the really fundamental things you're going to need to know for general computer science for example if you're going to be taking computer science in college then the computer science that you're going to be doing in AP Computer Science A is going to be much more geared toward teaching you some of those concepts such as object oriented programming which is very important if you're going to be you know doing any sort of development of any sort such as software development or if you're going to be doing anything later on in terms of actually uh, using programming and um, in a much more detailed way. All right, so now next I want to talk about, I talked about the coursework. Now I want to actually talk about the exam uh, for these two classes. So for um, AP Computer Science A, you'll be taking a test that is generally going to be multiple choice and free response. You will have um, 40 multiple choice questions and you will have about four FRQ questions and all of that you will have to complete. Now for the computer science principles test, you're going to be doing only multiple choice. There's only going to be either single or multiple select questions, meaning, um, you know, A through E, you know, multiple choice, or a select all that apply type of question for computer science principles. Now in addition, with something that principles actually has that AP Computer Science A does not, is something called the create performance task. And the, per, and the create performance task is basically going to be, you have to create a program um, in code, something that you're interested in, whatever language you learn in the class or you know any language that you know, and you're going to be kind of showing that you can actually uh, program, and you'll be answering some questions based on the program you actually made. So for example, some of the things you're gonna need to do is you're going to really need two basic components, like an algorithm in your app, and you're also going to need some sort of um, abstraction, which if, if you haven't taken it, obviously, it's literally just making your code um, kind of a little bit simpler, managing um, how everything is in terms of complexity. So those are the main things that you actually have to show in your create performance task, and you have a lot of time. You'll have about 12 hours in class uh, to work on it, minimum, and you can actually use some time you know, at home if you have the ability to. You will be able to actually work on your create performance task at home. So the create performance task is actually submitted. It's not timed like, you know, on the test. It's submitted like a project and you'll submit it to AP Classroom. So in your AP Classroom, or I think they call it the AP Portfolio, you will simply take your project and you will submit it to them based on some of the things and answer some of the short answer questions. It's not bad at all, especially once you complete the actual class, everything will make perfect sense. Now, in addition to the create performance task, they also had something called the explore performance task, which I believe they're removing in 2021. So if you're going to be taking the class next year, you're probably not going to be having the explore task. And the explore task was basically where you had to choose a computing innovation or something that you know has happened in the world or some sort of innovation in terms of um, computing and using computers. And you just had to answer some questions about it and make a little artifact about it. And it's likely that they're going to be removing that in 2021. So it'll literally only be the multiple choice question and the create performance task as the exam. There are no FRQs on the computer science principles exam. All right, so we've talked about now um, kind of the coursework between the two classes. And we also talked about the AP exam. Now, one of the things that I actually want to, before I move on, and, and this kind of leads into the next topic, and the next topic is kind of what should you actually do? Like, let's say you don't know programming at all, right? Like, this is completely new to you. You don't know what computer science even is, and you, and you really don't, and you haven't done a lot of programming, or the programming that you've done is very, very basic and minimal programming, in the sense that, you know, you're kind of just learning some of the really basic stuff. You don't really have an exposure to it, then should you take computer science A or take principles? Well, generally, if you're in that kind of category of people, you already, you know, or you don't really know a lot about the topic, which is, of course, perfectly fine, then it's more recommended that you take AP computer science principles first, right? Kind of before you take AP computer science A. And that's simply because AP computer science principles will introduce you to the concepts that you're going to heavily build on in AP computer science A. Now, I won't go as far to call AP Computer Science A a actual prerequisite for AP Computer Science principles. And I won't go that far simply because you can completely take principles for, I mean, you can take Computer Science A completely from, uh, from scratch. 
you don't need to actually take principles in order to take A. And a lot of schools don't have it set up that way. Some do, but uh, most actually don't. So it's not a prerequisite, but if you don't have any knowledge or previous knowledge of computer science in general, it's probably more recommended for you to take AP Computer Science principles, simply so that A, you're not going to be um, very confused throughout the entire class because AP Computer Science A can get a little bit more difficult at times. But you know, if you take AP Computer Science principles, you'll be at least introduced to some of those concepts. So if you're really interested, right, let's say you're really excited and you want to learn more about computer science, but you don't really know where to start. And, you know, you you just kind of want to learn a little bit of the basics of how to do things and some and kind of get introduced to the topics. AP Computer Science principles is a great class for you. And then if you feel that you're, you know, you're really interested in this and that class went really well for you and you want to learn more and actually go into more deeper programming to actually solve problems and kind of transition to word AP Computer Computer Science, and especially if you want to do AP Computer Science later on in your life, like um, college or whatnot, then AP Computer Science A will also be very helpful, and you can take that after AP Computer Science Principles. Now, there may also be the other group of people who they, they already know a lot about programming, like they've been programming for many years, right? And they just want to take a high school class that allows them to actually, you know, kind of tap into that and to maybe build upon their knowledge. And for those people, then AP Computer Science Principles may not be the best class for you to take. And it's not because, you know, the class is hard or anything. It's just, or, you know, that it won't be related because it will be related. But I think that if you already know those concepts, then perhaps you may not need to take that class again, right? Just to actually, you know, because you don't need computer science principles to do A. Like if you already know some of the basics of how things work, like you kind of know how, you know, what variables are, you already kind of know how like algorithms kind of work. And when I say algorithms, I don't mean like some crazy, I'm talking about like maybe some if statements, something like that. Like if you already have a little bit of knowledge, you've kind of done some things on your own, maybe you've worked on some projects, then you, then it could be reasonable that you take AP Computer Science A. Now again, Computer Science A without any programming classes previously, you have to make sure that you actually have a decent, um, possibly a decent understanding. Because obviously the entire course though, is to teach you those things, right? But it's more helpful for you to kind of go into the class knowing at least some, like some basic fundamental kind of ideas or concepts than, than to kind of jump into it without having any knowledge. Because for those people, they, they'll get, um, they may fall behind in AP Computer Science because of their, especially when you get to some of the later units, there are much more complicated things that start to come up. And that's why, again, for the people who don't really have any previous knowledge, AP Computer Science Principles is probably recommended to take before AP Computer Science A. But if you have already some knowledge, AP Computer Science A would be perfect for you um, because, you know, it allows you to learn some new things and you may actually be excited the fact that you have a class where you can do some programming in school. And now the last type of... Um, the last type of student, which actually happened to me in my case, because the way that my school works is kind of the, the courses and, and everything. Sometimes, you know, you don't get what you actually ask for and you get alternates and stuff. But I actually got, I took AP Computer Science A before I took AP Computer Science Principles. And there's some people who may be, who may be in the book, like they took AP Computer Science A and they're wondering, should you take AP Computer Science Principles? Well, this is actually going to be really dependent on what you want as a student because AP Computer Science Principles, it's not like you're going to gain nothing from the class if you take it after Computer Science A because, again, Computer Science A is very into programming. But Computer Science Principles goes in some other things like the internet and kind of how things transfer across the internet. So it's more of a basic class in that way, but it's still useful to actually have and to kind of learn some of those things. And... So even though, you know, you may already know programming or think that you know everything so well, you may want to take AP Computer Science Principles also just, you know, to learn. And again, obviously, you don't want to take it if it's not going to be interesting to you. Like, let's say you took AP Computer Science A and you hated it. You don't want to do computer science. Don't just take AP Computer Science Principles because, you know, you heard somewhere that it was an easy class because, you know, that's just not you shouldn't be doing that anyway. You know, you want to kind of you want to take it if it's going to be interesting to you. Now, also, some people kind of sometimes um, come up with the idea or they, they kind of have a general thought about, well, you know, AP Computer Science Principles is, an, is, you know, sometimes considered an easier class. And there's some colleges, they think, that may not actually take that credit. So why even take the class? Well, the thing is, is this is actually going to be very dependent on the actual colleges that you're looking at, right? Because 
you know, there are a lot of colleges, um, you know, if you're in your state or even other states that actually do, they do take computer science principles. But of course, it's dependent on the school. So let's say you're a senior or you, you may, I mean, even if you are a rising senior, you're still not going to know where you're going to go to college until after you probably sign up for your classes. But it's kind of, if you already took computer science A, then you can see that, well, do I, do I get a benefit? Like, do I actually gain some credit? Because there are, there are definitely schools that accept computer science principles as an, as an AP credit to place out of a certain class. And that's really going to be dependent on the school that you actually do, right? So, cause those are the two things that I kind of hear about computer science is one is, well, you know, you're not going to get credit for it anyway. Don't take it, which is not true because of course there are some colleges that will definitely accept it just like every other AP class. And then also the other thing is that, well, you know, if you already took computer science A, there's no point because you already know everything, which is also, again, as I said earlier, it's not necessarily true because you will learn other things such as things about the internet. And, you know, so if you're really interested in computer science and you want to do that for, you know, college, then even if you took AP computer science A, it, you know, you might as well take AP computer science principles too. And you may learn some very interesting things from that. All right, everyone, that is going to be my uh, kind of comparison between AP Computer Science A and AP Computer Science Principles. If you have any questions, especially as you may start to be signing up for courses or kind of already finalizing that, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of the questions. If you'd like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.